Hello, Mary Coca Flopolis here again with live tip number 23. So my Lagista mustache is making another triumphant return. You want to hear the story? I know you do. I was traveling to fucking Degani with my mate Johnny Veracakis. Yasu Yanni. I've known Johnny since we were fucking 12 years old. Eh? We went to Princess Hill together. And then we played our fucking Brunswick City together as well. Eh? He was our fucking local legend, that bloke, with a fucking lethal left foot. Then he went on to play for fucking South Melbourne. Eh? We played indoor together as well over the years with my my other fucking lads, Tas Papadopoulos and Nick Panagiotidis, yes, Bodiki. And his left foot is still as fucking lethal as ever. He's got the kind of surname that's perfect for a fucking Scottish commentator there. Eh? That was a great goal there by Verkakis. Anyway, so we're in the car and he's playing some kind of fucking new Greek stuff. And as you all know, I'm fucking old school. I said, who's this? He mentioned some name, never fucking heard of the bloke. He's probably a fucking superstar in Greece. I said, wait till we get to the lights today. Grab your phone and I'll tell you to punch in a classy. We get to the lights. I mention the title of the song. He punches it in. And then it starts. Just as we take off, the Buzuki intro, standard. I glance over at him. He still hasn't reacted. And then the singing begins. Emathapos. Isemagas. He joined in and goes, I've heard this song. I go, of course you've heard this fucking song. Right? This is a fucking classic. Why do you think it's a fucking classic? And we fucking sang it together all the way to the Ghanis. They right? fucking killed it. Love that fucking song. Right? As we were singing that song, the fucking power of that song went through me again. And a little voice said to me, Manny, the Mustaga. It's time again. This time, in a modified version, get the shape right, and the universe will oblige. Thus, what you're seeing now. It's a work in progress, just as we all are in life. Which brings me to today's life tip. As you know, of late, I've been rocking the apps, blowing bubbles all over Melbourne. And as many of you who've been on the apps would know, there's a couple of fucking standard things that people like to say. I like to take long walks on the beach. I like to go hiking there in my lack. I'm going to go fucking walk around in the bush for no reason whatsoever. I don't think so. But there's one saying that always gets my attention. Seems to ruffle my feathers a little bit. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to share it with you all. So when they say, I want someone who's got their shit together. You mean like this? Or maybe like this? What are you saying there? You want a cock of flopolis? There's only one of me to go around. But I'll let you in on a little secret. No one's got their shit together. Not even me. But you're thinking to yourself, you're oozing it in the same way that garlic oozes out of your pores when you've had my mum's tzatziki. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. But the key to my mate, yeah, is that I embrace the fact that I have no idea what the fuck's going on. And because I have no idea what the fuck's going on, I know what's going on. Catalabes. So when you say, I want someone who's got their shit together, what you're actually saying is, I want someone to fucking help me get my shit together. So my life tip to you is, let go of the idea of getting your shit together and then you'll get your shit together. Give yourself some breathing room, eh? give yourself permission to be a malaka. The irony is, when you give yourself permission to be a malaka, when you start giving less fucks, ironically, you enter into the world of... Nice. Unclench your colotri pare. No one's got their shit together. Not even you. And if you're watching this and you're getting worked up and you're screaming at the TV or at your phone, go, fuck off, right? Who the fuck are you to tell me I don't have my shit together? Case in point. Why are you getting worked up, right? It's fucking Friday, right? I'm getting deep. What do you expect, right? I run the gamut of glanias to classic wisdom. And another one people like to say, just be yourself. Right, my lucka, which one of me are you talking to? When you're with your parents, you're one person. When you're with your partner, you're another person. When you're with your kids, you're another person. When you're at work, you're another person again. It's all valid. We do what we got to do. How many times when you're talking to your partner, your husband or your wife and your kids walk up and you switch? My boss at work is the biggest fucking dumb can I've ever seen. Oh, hello, sweetheart. That's a beautiful drawing. Yeah, daddy be with you in a sec. Two different characters right then and there. So when someone says to you, be yourself, it doesn't exist. Let go of that Malakia theory and just be. Then you're asking me, what the fuck does that entail? 
all right, I'm going to go fucking blast that song today. It's going to be the first of an evening of fucking classic Zebekika tonight on a Friday night, fucking killing it today. Go do the same, eh, there? Hey. 